Hi everyone. Hope everybody's okay. This lecture is about estimating the population standard deviation or the variance. Standard deviation is sigma and variance we know it is sigma squared. So put some uh, notes here for you. First how about the point estimates. For sigma, the point estimate is S. That means for population standard deviation, the point estimate is the sample standard deviation. And for sigma squared, which is the variance, the point estimate is S squared, which is the sample variance. Number two, to construct a confidence interval, we use chi squared distribution. Now this is not x, this is chi. So it's chi that we need chi squared. So we write it in English chi squared and it's pronounced chi squared guys. So don't say x squared, please. This is basically the graph of the distribution. And this, as we notice, this is uh, about the confidence level is always right in the middle. Then you have chi square from the right and chi square from the left. So chi square L, we call it chi square from left or left held critical value, left held chi square. It's this one. Chi square R is chi square from right or right tail critical value, right tail chi square. The reason why we have two different ones, because this curve is not symmetric. So we get two different values. Chi square distribution is skewed to the right. So, and it's not symmetric like the normal and the T distribution. It's very important. Number five, chi square distribution is dependent of the sample size. So we use degrees of freedom like the T distribution, DF, which is N minus one. Now, different sample sizes or the degrees of freedom have different shapes. So the one with less sample size or smaller sample size more steep. The other thing that's very important to know, chi-square distribution starts from zero and all the numbers are positive. You do not have negative numbers for chi-square distribution or chi-square critical values. They're all positive. Now let's do some uh, finding the critical values or critical chi-square values. For this one, we are going to use the table. The calculator directly, you have to program your calculator for this. So make, I want to make sure that you know how to use the, the table. In order to find chi-square critical values, you need to know the confidence interval and of course, N, so you can calculate uh, the degrees of freedom, N minus one. So here I said 90% confidence level. So we know this area right in the middle is 90% or 0.9. <clears throat> we need to know the area in the tails. So this area we learned is one minus 0.9 divided by two and it's 0.05. So if I want to read this value, I need to know the area to the left of that value, this green area. So we need the area to the left of the value, uh, sorry, to the right of the value. For a T and Z, we need to know the area to the left, but here is the area to the right. So remember what we have here is 0.05, and degrees of freedom, nine. So let me go to the table.
the note area to the right of the critical value. So the area we said is 0.05. We found out. And the divisor freedom, it was nine. So let's go here and we get that value. So chi square from the right is 16.919. Let's double check. And we got it 16.919. If I want that number, I have to know the area, complete area to the right of that number. How do we find this, that area? We take that area plus this one, and I did it for you. 0.9 plus 0.05 is 0.95, or you can just do one because the total area is one and take this out. One minus 0.05, two ways you can find the area, this total area to the right of that value. So what we got is 0.95, Divisor freedom 10. So let's go to the table, see if we can get that. Divisor freedom is nine and point 0.95 is right here. So let's find the intersection and that's the number 3.325. And there we go, it's 3.325. The second example, very similar, but let's do it. 95% confidence level and N is 15, find chi-square from the right side and chi-square from the left side. Right away, degrees of freedom, we know already is 15 minus one, which is 14. This area is 95%. So the area in the tail is going to be 1 minus 0.95 divided by 2, which is 0.025. So this is 0.025. So remember, 0.025 degrees of freedom, 14. So let's go to the table. Degrees of freedom, actually, N was 15. Degrees of freedom is... 14, so degrees of freedom 14 and 0.025, it's right here. Then you come down and you take the intersection 26.119. Let's go double check, 26.119. If I want chi-square from the left one more time, I need to know the area to the left of that number. The area to the left of that number is this red area plus this little area, which is 0.95 plus 0 0.025 is 0 0.975. So 0.975 degrees of freedom, 14. Let's go to the table. Fourteen is right here, 0.975. It's right here. So 5.629, and we got it 5.629. Let's do a last one. 99% confidence level, N is 20. Right away, we know degrees of freedom are 19. So this area, is 99.99. The area in the tail is 1 minus 0.99 divided by 2 is 0 
five. So let's go see. 0 0.005 degrees of freedom, 19. Let me erase those 19. It's right here, 0 0.005. It's right here. The number is 38.582. Let's double check our answer. Thirty-eight point five eight two. To find this one, one more time, we need all the area to the right of that number, which is this area plus that area, 0 0.99 plus 0 0.005, which is 0 0.995, or you can do one minus that number and you get the same answer. So 0 0.995 and 19. So I can take this out, 19, we can stay 0 0.995 is right here. Six point eight four four. Let's check the answer. And we got it six point eight four four. Now, how do we use these numbers? We're going to estimate Sigma, which is the population. standard deviation. Now the population standard deviation, you don't do sigma plus or minus margin of error. It's different than the mean and the proportion. This is the formula. To the left side, it's n minus one times s squared, which is the sample standard deviation squared divided by chi squared from the right side. And on the right side of the inequality, you write n minus one s squared divided by chi squared from the left side. Just notice this is chi squared from the right side. That means it's that number. And this one is chi squared from the left side. That means it's that number. So it's kind of switch. Don't make the mistake. If you want to estimate population uh, variance, again, sigma squared is the variance. You use the same formula, but without basically you square all the sides. And there is no square root here. So it's just n minus one s squared divided by chi squared from the right side. The middle, we have the variance, which is standard deviation squared. And on the right side, we have n minus one s squared divided by chi squared from the left side. Let's do an example. Let's see, we have eight test scores here. 90, 85, 62, 30, 46, 59, 78. 72. And I say estimate the population standard deviation with 90% confidence level. So what we did, the steps I wrote it here, we need S, sample standard deviation, but we can use our calculators and do one more stats. That's S sub X in the calculator. Then we can find the critical value from the right side, from the left side, and last step, step number three, use the formula I just gave you. So put X's in L1, and if you put the X's in L1 and you do one bar stats, you get X bar is 65.25. We do not use it. You don't need X bar for this problem. Sometimes in the homework, they do give you X bar, but don't use it. It's there to confuse you. So be careful. And I put it here. You don't need X bar for this problem. All you need is 
S or S sub X. So S sub X is 20.26. Critical values, you do it exactly the same way we just did. 90% confidence level, the area in this tail is 1 minus 0.9 divided by 2, which is 0.05. So 0.05 and the degrees of freedom, we have eight numbers. N is eight in this case, minus one is seven. So seven and 0.05, let's see what we get. Seven is right here. 0.05 is right here. So 14.067. To find that number, you need all this area. And as I told you, it's 0 0.9 plus 0 0.05, which is 0 0.95. So 0 0.95 degrees of freedom, seven. So let's go to the table. So we need 0.95 here is right here. So 2.167. Two point one six seven. So step number three, you can write the formula and substitute. N was eight minus one. S we found the twenty point twenty six calculator. Again, use your calculator. Square divided by chi squared from the right side. It's right here. Fourteen point zero six seven and to the right side, eight minus one again. S is 20.26 squared divided by that 2.167. And if you simplify that, use your calculator and double check the answer. You should get 14.29 and 36.41. So we say, if the sample standard deviation is 20.26, then we are 90% confident that the population standard deviation will be a number between 14.29 and 36.41, which is the confidence interval. So this is not a very hard lecture. Uh, try to watch it two, three times and you should be able to do the homework problems. Have a great one everyone and I'll see you soon.